Here is a diagram for Shannon's patio with a vegetable patch cut out of one side. Work out the area of Shannon's patio. So we're going to need to either cut up the shape or do the whole shape and take away this bit that she's cut out. I'd be inclined to divide up the shape. Like that. I've split up my 3.5 here. I know that the height there is 1.5, so this bit must be 2. That's 1.5, so that must also be 1.5. And we've got the other measurements on there. So each area, we've got two numbers. And for area, we multiply the base times the height. So this one here, the base is 2, the height is 1.5, so that gives us 3 metres squared. Here we've got a base of 1 and a height of 1.5, so that is 1.5 metres squared. And here we've got a base of 5.5 and a height of 2, which gives us an area of 11 metres squared. If we add those together to give us the total area of our whole patio, we do 11 plus 3 plus 1.5, which comes to 15.5 metres squared. Remember, you have a calculator and you can use it. Shannon wants to paint the patio, and the paint costs £9 per tin. One tin covers 4 metres squared of patio. How much patio, how much will the paint cost to paint the, to paint the patio? Well, how many tins are we going to need? Well, one tin covers four. So two tins must cover eight. Three tins must cover twelve. And four tins must cover sixteen. We need to buy four tins because they're to cover the whole 15.5. Even though we should have a bit left over, we can't get less than a tin. So we have to buy whole numbers of tins. So we buy four tins, and each one costs nine pounds. And four times nine is 36 pounds in total. You have to show your work for that. We can't just guess the final answer.